It's a Black Library celebration. <laughs> Hey, welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com, and we've got the Black Library Celebration miniatures here today. So these particular models are a, I guess you want to call it exclusive. I don't know if it's limited, maybe both. They're at least limited to any independent retailer and also Warhammer stores. I think like they were getting 30 of each was the official, um, we'll call it allocation, <laughs> I think. So, I mean, there's a decent amount of them out there, I suppose. But, uh, you know, as far as that goes, you might not be able to order them from online retailers. So remember, you can always get your hobbies for less from Miniature Market or Dicehead.com. But uh, I don't know if they're getting any because I haven't checked with them. <laughs> but that aside, uh, you can always go to your local games workshop or slash Warhammer store or your friendly local game store and they may actually have these uh, on the weekend. So price is $50 for this box set right here. And I want to say that this is the first time that they have actually come out with an exclusive um, or limited edition, whatever you want to call it miniatures that were in plastic because remember they were doing that i don't want to call it fine cast it was in resin because their their fine cast believe it or not has actually gotten a lot um a lot better as far as like quality goes so i think uh i think they were just kind of getting better at, at casting stuff so i don't want to say fine cast but it was coming in that finely crafted resin as they like to call it which is basically fine cast regardless so this box set right here, uh, like I said, is $50 US, and it's gonna come with some instructions, a little sprue, and uh, the bases for each of the models. Let's start with the instructions here. So this is a two model kit, and like you saw, it was one big sprue right there, and I'll, I'll get back to that here in a second. So at least for Valorant, which if you look up Valorant on uh, the internet, because sometimes I just like to look at these names, I'm like, where did they get this name from? It's actually a root that's used to uh, sleep, uh, to treat uh, sleep insomnia? Who knew? <laughs> so he's, uh, I don't know, that's just kind of kind of weird. I couldn't find anything for her though, but I guess the, the, he is the, the brother of silence, <laughs> so to speak, or at least the bro brother of sleep. So this model goes together front and back right here, and then it's got some legs that attach to it, very similar to how the Primaris go together. Uh, the arm and spear is all one bit, which is kind of cool to see. Well, I guess we saw that with like a hand on it for the uh, the Custodes Guard. Shoulder pads go on like normal, uh, and then the Misery Accord here will go on to, to the belt. Uh, head, so you do have a choice of head. It, does, it only comes with the one that looks like Christopher Walken, I suppose, but I kind of think he looks like uh, NFL Commissioner Goodell. But maybe not. I don't know. We'll take a look at it once we get it together here. And then his little uh, hip greaves. I forget what those things are called, but they're pretty neat. The one thing uh, that I noticed about both these miniatures that, that is, and they did it with the sister too, that came out in June of last year, is they have this little decorative base topper kind of thing, which is kind of cool to see. And they've been doing that with Shadow Sun and Mephiston and, you know, all the new uh, models, uh, the Primaris Lieutenant that's popping smoke and things. Pretty neat to see. I'm not exactly sold on uh, these little laurels uh, right here, but I guess that's what gives him his little rule, which we'll talk about here in a second. That looks very pre precarious, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll get a little closer on that. And then and the instructions for putting her together, very similar to the Sisters of Silence that came out uh, back in, gosh, what did they come in? They came in the Fall of Prospero, or the Burning of Prospero box, and then they came in the Emperor's, Towns of the Emperor box set that was like a bundle. What was that like 2016? I can't even remember, man. It's oof. The years are starting to blur to get blur together. But then she's got the two arms that kind of go together and kind of sit out. Oof. I hope these lock together well. And then she's got a little Excalibur sword. Then her head goes on and uh, the two different shoulder pads there. And then she's got the little base topper. Now this is where it gets weird. And if you didn't see our article earlier in the week on this one right here, their rules are practically well, they're not practically. They are unplayable, unfortunately, because you can't it literally GW got rid of soup so you can't take anything that's based on faction keywords imperium and they gave them points but the but it's points per model not per unit so it's like almost 400 points for these two models which are kind of average for that points to be quite honest so i don't know what's going on with this maybe they'll faq it later i, I mean you literally even if they gave them like towns of the emperor faction keyword or something right here you still couldn't I mean, I guess you could take it as a Talons of the Emperor army, but you couldn't field it in a Custodes army because you have to take both of them and you have to have this Astra Telepathica. 
So, or the, the Sisters of Silence. So if you don't have Sisters of Silence and Custody Keywords, vice versa, you can't even put them, because they're the same units, so you couldn't even put them in a Sisters Attachment, Sisters of Silence Attachment, or a Custodies Attachment. Super weird, I, I don't know what's going on here. We've been seeing error after error after error from Games Workshop, and it's like, gosh, it's so frustrating because they do so many other things well, and then they do this, and it's just like, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Get your head in the game right here. So, sprue time. So this is a $50 kit, which is basically two of the character level size sprues right here. So if we cut this in half, that would be two character level sprues, which are normally $35. We've seen a couple of them that are the two sprue configuration go for $45. Uh, we've seen some go for 40, like I think Aramon is two sprues, if I recall correctly. And I think the Orc Mega Boss out of um, Sigmar is more, is more sprues. He might be two sprues. Shadow Sun's actually one of these and a full sprue this big, I believe. So it's, it's kind of like, there's no rhyme or reason to the pricing sometimes. So, oh yeah, Annie, Annie knows too. She's here. There's the cat here, everybody. <laughs> so as far as detail goes, I mean, they, they look just as good as the Sisters of Silence model and the Custody models, you know, the Custodian Guard that we saw. They got the base topper sort of a little bit more fancy, I suppose. But, I mean, there really isn't anything super crazy to make them stand out. They just have a different pose and just look a little different, I suppose. So first up is Valoran. And, uh, well, he uh, he looks good. I mean, he put together and completely assembled. I think he looks great. Posing is pretty good. You know, he's just kind of standing there in a little stoic kind of uh, pose. And all the gaps and everything are pretty much hid by all the plating and such uh, does he come no it doesn't come with a drill out bolter oh, that's all right though a little bit extra work and you can see on the head definitely looks like a, a christopher walken or maybe like a nfl commissioner goodell i don't know one of those definitely uh, strikes me as that face I've seen it a million times of course now the one thing you will notice is these laurels up here a reese whatever you want to call them these you can almost see the little gap right there in between uh, the back of the piece and the front of the piece. And there's a little nub on the back of the wreath that you have to actually lock into the hole right here. And you're pretty much gonna need tweezers to do it. I won't lie. <laughs> like it is, it is a little fiddly. It's a little fiddly. But other than that, uh, seems like everything else went together just fine. Um, those up there just gotta, just gotta be aware of. Now size wise, he definitely compares uh, very closely to a custodian guard. I mean, even the styling, like look at the uh, chest armor and everything like that. I don't remember if these were separate pieces. Though. It's been so long since I put my models together on um, uh, the little hip armor. But uh, but the misery quarters on the side, or actually they flip them on the back. Oh, I don't even have one. I don't even have one. Maybe I got lazy and didn't put it on this one. I don't remember. But uh, but yeah, everything else. You know, he's wearing the little custody biker gloves like they have. I don't I don't know why I have but leather leather girl gloves on a uh, power armor. But hey. Who am I to judge? This is the far future and there's things going on that we don't understand. So, I mean, posing wise and size wise, I, th I feel like they scaled it appropriately. And then Alea or whatever her name is, uh, model's, model's pretty cool looking. She's, again, she's got a great great pose and the um, everything kind of lines up just fine right there. I don't have a Sister of Silence to compare her to, unfortunately, but we do have a Sister uh, superior here out of the squad from the uh, what I can't remember if the multi-part box or the uh, the army box but either way she's gonna look very similar in size and statue and everything because you know remember she's got the uh, the thing on here so if she wasn't bent over she'd probably be about just as tall ish give or take right there so yeah that's uh it's about right. This one's a little bit more detailed. I can't remember if all of them from the sister's box had capes, but other than that, I think it looks pretty good. So here's, she compares up to the custody. And of course, remember we got a, yep, there it is. So a little bit smaller because of course she doesn't have that uh, dope ass uh, custody armor. And then there's the two models together. So very, very cool. I guess they go like this. I don't know. I don't know how they're supposed to be posed. It would have been cool if they came with like a little diorama that you could plug them into, but I guess not so much. Well, other than that, I think they're pretty cool, you know, as far as uh, models go. I mean, pricing wise, eh, you know, you could make the argument that these would normally sell for $35 each because of the size of the sprue. It only goes for 50. So I feel like kind of ahead of the game there as far as GW pricing air quotes. But I mean, everything else from the rules and maybe the inability to get these on uh, Black's Black Library Celebration Day 2020 might 
you know, leave a bad taste in some folks' mouths. But either way, vote with the hobby dollars. If this is the thing for you, well, pick it up and um, put these guys together and add them to your army. Who knows? We might see more from the Sisters of Silence going forward into 2020. But right now, eh, they're not 100% playable, I don't suppose. But hey, that never stopped us before, right? So that's it for this one. Uh, remember, you can always get your hobbies for less from MinistryMarket or DiceHead.com. Not sure if they're going to have these. Like I said, they are exclusives. But do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos.